Welcome back. Today we are looking at a the Fleet Guard LF three six one four oil filter. This one's a shout out to my brother. He's got a Toyota Echo. This is the filter that suits that. I'm cutting this open for him so we can see what they're like. So the box is pretty standard. It's fleet guard parts, languages, and it's got the actual part sticker on the side. Lube filter made in Indonesia. It's quite a small and little cartridge. That's good. Got the plastic cover on there, keep bad stuff from getting in there, which is good. Fairly standard, but some of them don't come with that, which is just a bit weird, but they do. Just says Fleet Guard, part number, pre fill lube and tighten. Date co. Oh, looks pretty good. And top there we got a nice rubber seal. Held in quite well, got a considerable amount of thickness to it there, that's good. Stays in well. Sticks it up a bit past the top, which is good. So the weight of the filter two hundred and twenty nine grams, so it is quite a heavy filter for the size of it, I think. So interested to see what's in there. We'll get the top off and then we'll have a look at the base plate and what we got. Alrighty, we got the top cut off. So in terms of the base plate. It's quite nice for the size of the filter actually. It's got good big open holes. And we got one, two, three, four, five, lots of thread. So it's quite a nice base plate on the filter. And the top scrimped around nicely. So that's quite nice. So it's just a standard cellulose elements, not a special filter. Got a nice, very big for the size of the filter, but that's good. Coil spring. And then a little cap for as well, give it a bit of extra strength. So that's a real good, nice design. And Uh, it's about 0.6 mil, so seems fairly standard, and it's nice. I mean, it's not it's uh, fairly standard for fleet guards. Some others tend to be a little bit thinner, but that's good. And for the size of the filter, I mean, it's as thick as you really want to go. It's a nice spring. The valve here. It's actually got a little. It's quite hard to get off, it's very tight on there, so that makes quite a nice seal. There's absolutely no movement at all in that. And then on the plate itself, it's a little bit of movement there, but that, because it's got that lip over the top instead of just being around the outside, that will push up nicely against there when in operation seal that quite well so I like that seal that's nice and it sits nicely around the edge too so it's a nice good seal I like that so far we're pretty good 
So the canister itself, see a little bit of extra glue in there. Got a nice little proper conventional type bypass, which is good. So I've got nice even pleat spacing apart from obviously where it's crimped, which is pretty well standard too. I like the thickness on that, it's nice, and that way that that goes in there is good. We'll get the media cut out and have a look at what we got. Alright, so I've got that media cut out. I've got a total length of 1.3 metres. And the width on him... It's about 39 mil. Mate, it's not heaps of media, but it's a tiny little oil filter. I mean, it's really small. It's going on a small engine. I think there's really an issue with that amount of media that's in that. It's a nice length for what it is. I'll put a little bit under the microscope and have a look at that. Right, so as you can see in the microscope, and that's, this is just your standard filter cellulose. I mean, Fleet Guard make good quality cellulose. You can see that in the microscope, so that's nice. No issue with the media. So, in terms of the can, there is a fair bit of glue, so... Can be a good thing, can be a bad thing. This particular filter hasn't actually leaked onto the media at all. It's just a little bit in the on the edge, but it can break off and come out. But this stuff's pretty solid on there. It's not big and not enough that there's bits of rolling around in the filter. So that's pretty good. Nice crimped center tube. Oh, I mean, I mean a crimped pipe element joiner, center tube at about 38 mil, and that's a nice thickness for the size of the filter. That's a really solid center tube. There wouldn't be any issues with that collapsing whatsoever. So overall, it's quite a nicely designed filter. Um, and for the price of it, you know, you're looking at about Five to eight dollars, depending on where you get them from. Compared to a Ryko, it's about twenty. They've got very good internal components. I like the flea guard. They've they've got standard paper in them, but all this stuff's really good. It's got a real nice spring design, and that this is just really solid and good. Just no issues with that. The same with the plate. Plenty of thread, nice holes, nice flow. Just, just good quality. The valve, yeah, it's not silicon, but really good fit. It's flexible, and it just seals really well on the on all the parts that it needs to. So I think this is quite a nice oil filter. Um, yeah, there you have it. That's it. Flag guard LF three six one four.